All right, so this is a video to set up the tool setter on a Doosan mill. So you have to put the, uh, the calibration master in tool 29. And your calibration master has a length on it. Laser your mark on it right there. Okay. So you need to make sure you put that length in tool number 29. Oh, okay. Then you're just going to go to your rim GUI and you're going to go calibrate, tool setter, and it tells you what to do. So we're going to go into handle, go on to down. somewhere kind of over the top of it. it okay. So you tell it you want to do a full calibration. What the master value is and it's on there. Okay, so you key that in. That says position the stylus 400 above. Go to memory. I always will turn my feed rate down and my rapids down. Just in case. Start. It's gonna make you redo it all, huh? What was wrong? Uh, I was stuck in the middle of the program. Oh, right. Yeah, that would mess it up. Got a, an active alarm. So you just called an M30 to try to get it to quit whatever it's doing. Yeah. All right, you notice I have a M0 actually. So this macro is used for several things. This is also used for a manual tool function, which there's an M0 so that you can make sure you're positioned over the probe so you had a big shell. Oh, okay. Then you then you can hit cycle start again. That goes away, and you'll see it, it's going to start moving any day now. Gonna set this is set in Z location. Then the spindle is gonna start rotating. With the spindle rotating, it's setting the diameter of that stylus, which in the CAD CAM world, most people don't touch the diameter. Of the yeah. But this is calibrating that diameter in case you did want to touch off the diameter.
before you do this calibration, you need to dial this probe in. There are two screws here. One's a clamping screw, one's a jack screw. So one's going to suck it down, one's going to push it up. So you want to make sure you have some decent pressure on those because you get vibration and stuff through the milling, you know, oh, yeah. heavy milling and stuff that can vibrate through. So make sure you got some decent pressure. I mean, it's a measuring instrument, you don't got to crank on it. That's going to adjust the probe back and forth this way. So you're just going to run the indicator across here, and then there's two screws up here that will adjust it back and forth within reason. If it's way off, you want to actually loosen this screw and this screw and then adjust it by hand to get, get close and snug those two screws back up to the fine tip. Gotcha. To take this probe off, there are four screws, four little set screws around the base right here. So you would take that off okay. and loosen those. And then there's one right down in the bottom in the back here that you would also loosen that's, uh, that's tightened onto a pin. Oh, okay. So you'd loosen all five of those, and then this will lift up. Then it's just a half 13 bolt in here. Uh -huh. So when you build your sub plate, just drill and have a half 13 hole where you want it, and just mount it right down to the table. Okay, great. Cool, thank you. Spindle Pro is 